what does everybody want? Everybody wants love. And we all deserve love. Don't we? So why don't we love each other? Why are we always judging each other? Why are we always finding fault with one another? It seems so easy to see someone across the way and see them with love or you can see them with fault finding. And you know, as a human being, we have this ability, we have this ability to instantly assess and judge people. And it just happens like that. We, we see and we judge, we see and we judge, we see and we judge. What if just for a second, we stop that? We just saw and we loved, we saw and we loved, we saw and we loved. Didn't matter who it was, it was just an instant opening of the heart, an instant opening of us to allow the other person to just be themselves, to just enjoy in nothing other than that person is amazing because they are themselves. If I was a rich man, you be do 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 all day long, and you be do be do you be do be do be do be do money. Isn't money the funny thing about life? We don't talk about it, but we talk about it. We want it, but it just seems out of our grasp. Other people always seem to have the money that we want and need. Look what humans have created. All for what? All for money. What if love was the currency? What if the, the more love that you gave was more important than the more money that you made? What kind of world would we live in? Don't you think it would be a better world? And what about all those people with all that money? What are you doing with it? What about all these billionaires? Like, what's it like to be a billionaire, to have all that money when everyone else has so little? What do they do with it? There's seven and a half billion of us. And probably half of us might not even have access to fresh water. Like, how is that okay with billionaires? Like, what do you guys talk about? I think if Jesus came back, I think he'd have some sort of YouTube channel and he'd probably be saying to the billionaires, what the fuck are you doing with all your money? Why do you need so much? Why do you hoard so much? Why are you so greedy? We are really in a strange part of our species evolution. And right now is our chance. Our chance is here to actually step out of the box, to become new. Get off the Facebook streams, get off the social media and dive deep into your highest aim of who you are and get people around you that love you, that support you, that want to find out how to love each other. That is gonna be the most important thing for humans right now beyond anything, really. A friend of mine was giving me a wet blanket and I won't tell you who, but he knows who he is. And he's, he's, he's not really, let's say, participating. He's, he's always watching from the distance. And, sort of. and when you watch from the distance at a party, you never really get involved. You never really join in. You don't bring your energy. You don't bring what you got. So you're always on the outside. And to get on the inside, you got to participate. You got to dive in. You got to want to be there. You, you got to want to open up to the power and the passion of the moment. And that will not occur if you're always in the stands and you're always watching. And so, so many people, we're in a watching culture. We're all watching from our interfaces. We're watching from our laptops. We're watching from our phones. But are we actually participating in life? No, we're giving 
judgments and assessments, assessments without investigation. If you're human right now, you have to ask yourself, what is this all about? Why are you here? Why are you here? Are you here to adhere to the rules of an establishment that is not there for your better good? Or are you here to activate your soul? Are you here to go to the deepest depth of your potential and to fulfill it in a way that no one could even comprehend? You are the answer. You have the energy. Humanity has to awaken. If music is bad, if fun is bad, if having a great time is bad, then something is fucked. The greatest rebellion is to shake. Do you know what the very secret plan is? The very secret plan is every human being coming to the realization that they are one with God. That's it. That's the whole big bang five, but the moon, if there's one plan, if there's one thing, if there's one happening, I would suggest that, that each of us is a cell in the mind of God. And you may go, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What about Christianity? What about the Muslims? What about the Jews? What about all the other religions talking about this God? What are they saying? They're saying that human beings have a connection to something that is so much more than us, that is so much more beautiful, so much more expensive, that's uh, so much more. <sighs> but we don't let each other do it, do we? We have conversations about the fucking hockey game. We have conversations about the fucking political situation. We have conversations about everything. We talk ourselves out of our spirituality. What you got to get, it's the music, it's the vibe, it's the feeling, it's the movement. Stop freaking thinking. Lose yourself into the feeling of love. Lose yourself into the feeling of the movement of love. And if you don't do that and you're just talking and talking and talking and squawking and talking and stuff, that's why you're going insane. Oh, I know. Who's Captain Sweep? And why is he always angry at us? Wow. is here we've got everything at our fingertips and what are we doing we're letting a whole bunch of mf fuckers fuck everything up and we're pissed and we don't believe them and everything in the media that they're coming across is just a crock of shit i know you're scared what are people gonna think about what am I going to do? Because there's this disease, there's a virus, there's the COVID. It's going to get us all. It's going to kill us all. Horseshit. You are so fucking amazing. You have so much inside of you that you need to move it create and do 
don't succumb to the norm. I'm talking to the kids. I'm talking to all the people who just don't want to take in the bullshit anymore. Please, please, for the children, we have to change the direction. We have to get in tune. We have to be in tune. We have to be aligned with actual law, not the scam that they put forth. I know all the pencil pushers are going to be so pissed off at Captain Sweeping. What's he doing? He's not doing social distancing. He's not wearing a mask. He says everything is unsafe. <laughs> Common sense common sense let's try to find some common sense right you have an immune system it is the most powerful thing in your body humans are incredible in how we can actually stay alive tower seven didn't come down on its own who are you paying attention to what time is it it's time to unlock your potential it's time to open the door it's time for teams of planetary guardians to come together and actually bring out the passion the purpose the position the focus the vision what is your vision or are we just going to give in to criminals that are taking over the planet in a way that you can't even imagine. Think of the seven generations to come. What really is the one ring to rule them all? We all have our golem and Sauron is coming for us. What to do, what to do. Everything is trying to control your mind. It's Camille's birthday. She understands now what is happening and soon will create her one woman show. Like so many people, so much creative potential about to be unleashed coming soon.